Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is our sweet playground with the slide and teeter totter. I've learned some new skills I want to show off and add to our project, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, what you're looking at now is the 2021 Ford Bronco that was created by Caleb, and he showed me a technique where you can actually open doors and hoods or whatever you choose to create in Tinkercad. So my friends, we're gonna take that skill and we're gonna bring it in to our playground. If you have not created your playground yet, I will put cards up above that you can click and you can build the slide and the teeter-totter. And of course, I'm also gonna put a card up there so you can check out that sweet design by Caleb of Ragger Customs. All right, friends, so the secret to the technique of making this animated is to have a point that pivots. And slides don't pivot, but teeter-totters do. The only thing is we made ours one piece. So right now I'm gonna ungroup our teeter-totter and then I want to pivot around this piece, but I don't want to pivot around this piece, so I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to create a ring that lets us pivot, but I'm going to move it a long ways away. So watch this. Work plane and get on the flat edge. We're going to bring out just a cylinder, and then I'm going to look at it from a corner, and I'm going to stretch this thing way out. I'm going to type 130, and then I'm going to zoom so I can see everything. So I want this to come out almost to the blue edge, so it's gonna be off my workspace. And remember, we took our workspace and made it 500 by 500, so we had more room to play on our cool park. Now that I've confirmed I'm close to this edge, I wanna move back to the blue piece, so I'm gonna click on the blue piece, and I'm gonna to zoom to it with Fit View. Let's look at it from the other corner, and we're gonna Shift Select, so we have two shapes selected, and we want to align them. Well, you want to line it up with the blue piece, and we want it to be centered this way, and we want it to be centered this way. So now we've got this pivot extended all the way out. We're going to simply go out to the other end of it, and we're going to put the work plane on this edge, and we're going to make the awesome tube. When you bring the tube out, we want to do a radius of 30. We want to do a wall thickness of 1. I'm gonna change the size to 64 so it's round, and then I'm gonna make it one millimeter thick. This is gonna be the handle we move to tilt this. We need to align it as well. Since we aligned the first one, we can do shift and select the two. We can do a line and we wanna pick the orange one and do middle and middle. Now that that is all aligned, we can delete our part that we had to line it up. And if we select all of these pieces, notice we don't have the green one, we can group them. They will change to one color, but we'll simply hit the multicolor. Now that we've got our colors back right, let's fix this work plane. Remember, you can just hit W and click near the blue edge to get that right. And we can now click on our shape and it'll teeter just like a teeter-totter should. Although this way you can go beyond the ground or all the way upside down, which that is not how a teeter-totter works. If we hit show all, the triangle comes back. Just remember if you click on just the teeter-totter it tips, if you grab both pieces, notice it says two shapes, then the bottom of the teeter-totter moves, which you don't want. So the secret is just to click the piece you wanna rotate and then it rotates. And if you're trying to figure out the system, the size of this ring is what puts this handle at a location that it's easy to understand that that will rotate your Tinkercad shape. So my friends, that's how easy it is to take a shape, find a pivot point and make it so you can rotate it and kind of make your projects a little bit animated. Once again, huge thanks to Caleb for letting me check out his design so that I could share his cool work and then teach you this awesome skill. Friends, there is going to be another playground lesson coming. I'm not sure what day, but if you want to try and guess what I'm going to create that also uses this rotation, you can add that in the comments below. Friends, also, if you make something awesome and want to share it with me, you can always hit me up at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can use the awesome Send To and generate a link that actually lets me inside so I can check out your design, tell you how cool it is. You can also send it to my email. I am hlmodtech at gmail.com. Last but not least, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.